So this is a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and this is an iPhone. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to switch from your iPhone to a Note 10 or an S10. Let the download begin. So if you're new here and you want to learn how to use and troubleshoot your devices plus some other cool tech stuff, we can help. All you need to do is go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you know when to release some new helpful content. So are you an iPhone user that's been contemplating hopping over to the dark side of Android and you're looking at one of the newest Android phones out right now from Samsung, either the S10 Plus or even the newest Samsung Galaxy Note 10 or Note 10 Plus, but you're worried how hard it will be to switch from your device to one of theirs, this video is definitely for you. I'm gonna show you the steps you would need to take to switch from your iPhone to one of Samsung's phones, and it's really simple and a lot easier than you would probably think. So Samsung has an application that's called Smart Switch, and what Smart Switch does is it gives you the ability to switch your devices and transfer all that information from one device to the next, and it even works with Apple devices. So that's actually pretty cool and it makes switching really, really easy. So one of the first things you wanna make sure is that on your iOS device, your iPhone, you wanna back up all your information to your iCloud because that's where Smart Switch is gonna access that information and pull that down into your new Android phone. So on your Apple phone, it's really easy to do. All you're gonna do is go into your settings, go into your Apple ID section, and go into the data that you want synced into your iCloud. You're gonna select everything that you wanna sync and back up. Once that syncing is done, then you're gonna move over to your brand new Android phone, opening it up, and then we're gonna launch the Smart Switch application. Now, once you launch the Smart Switch application, it's gonna give you the ability to select either sending or receiving data. In this case, you're gonna be hitting the receiving data. Now, you're gonna hit wireless because it's probably one of the easiest or most convenient way to transfer the data, but it's not the fastest. So if you have a lot of data that you're gonna be transferring, and you're probably gonna to wanna to use the cabled access portion. But to use the cable access portion, you're actually going to need an additional piece that usually comes with the Samsung devices. So you'll probably find that in the box of your new phone. You're going to choose the cable option again if you're transferring a lot of data because sometimes the wireless option can be a little slow when you're transferring a ton of stuff. So once you select your transfer option, then it brings up the get connected option. So here is where you would select your iPhone or iPad, and then you're going to enter in your Apple ID and your Apple password. Once that is entered, you're gonna hit sign in. Then you're probably gonna to have to enter a verification code so the two can talk to each other. Once you enter that verification code, you tap okay. Your data will then begin to transfer over to your Android phone. And it really is that simple. The majority of your data that was backed up on iCloud will now be transferred into your Android phone. You just have to leave them alone, let the transfer complete. And once it's completed, you're basically transferred over. So there's also a couple of caveats that you always have to consider when you're switching from one OS to another. So when you're switching from iPhones to Android, you have to make sure you deactivate both FaceTime and iMessage because those are tied to your phone number. You deactivate those on the phone itself. Once those are deactivated, then you should be able to switch over your number and receive text messages without problems. And you also want to take note that iTunes videos and iTunes music cannot be transferred over with the SmartSync app. So there's a little bit more work involved in that retrospect where you would have to launch the SmartSync app on either your Mac or PC and launch iTunes on that same device. And then you can use the desktop version of the Smart Switch to download your music and also download your videos. So those can be transferred over to your new device as well. So there is like that little extra work, but for the most part, it's really seamless and it's really quick. So if you guys wanna know a little bit more about the benefits of iOS versus Android and Android versus iOS, go ahead and click on this video here. This video is something that YouTube thinks you would enjoy watching. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, share those in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for notification. And until next time, peace.